In this game, the Tyranids have been bombarding an Imperial city. The Imperium couldn't withstand the onslaught. They've had to call for aid from the Knights from Mars. Will that be enough to stop them? Or will all biomass be stripped from this planet? Let's see in the game. Hello everyone, welcome back to Daily Dice. I'm Sam, and today I'm with my main man, Jack. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Jack. Good How's morning, it going? Good. <laughs> good. 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 good well, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so today um, I'm going to be running the Knights. Um, I love running the Knights. I've only done it once on the channel, but um, it's a really uh, fast army to play, um, just having seven models on the table. Um, and uh, they've got some nice rules. They've had a, quite a lot of change in the uh, patch, the date slate. Um, so it'd be really interesting to see how the players, especially moving straight through buildings and stuff like that. Um, Jack, what are you going to be running, mate? I'm going to run Tyranids today, because yeah. it's the only army I have now. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of options. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. They've had some big changes recently, so hopefully it should help us. Yeah, and you've been playing Tyranids a while. Um, you were actually my first uh, person on the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, I had Jack on, and we, we were playing ninth. It was Orcs against Nids. Uh, good game. We haven't really been on much since then, so it's good no. to get you back on. Yeah. It's nice um, to be back. Yeah, and look at all the nids that you've painted mm -hmm. up recently because you've yeah. done quite a lot of work. I've, I've got a lot better at playing, <laughs> or a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, so how many times have you actually played um, this? What, 10th uh, edition? Yeah. Just every time I've been here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're, so we've tried to pump the numbers up, and me and Jack are basically going to be uh, looking into the nids codex and make sure we try and get as many rules as we can, right? But you know your nids, you've been playing a while, so. Oh, oh, certainly. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, thanks to all the members, as always. Um, there's all the members there. And uh, it really helps the channel. And um, so does them um, subscribing, commenting, liking, all that. So keep doing what you're doing. Uh, and we'll see you in the list. Yeah, enjoy the game. So here is 2,000 points of the Knights from Mars dropped in to save the Imperium from the alien filth. Their army rule is Code Chivalric. And um, basically, I went for Lalo the Tyrant, which is I can reroll one hit roll in one room wound roll for each model um and uh, i get that in ranged and in melee really strong uh, i like it deed is kill the enemy warlord so if i kill the enemy warlord um my army becomes honored and i gain three cp um in my next command phase um the detachment i've went for which is the only detachment i can use is noble lance and um, basically uh, the army gets a six up feel no pain um, and if they're honoured, so basically if I complete my deed, which is kill the enemy warlord, they get a five up feel no pain, which is really strong, especially against such tough units. Um, so yeah, let's go through the army list. So we'll start off with the big bad man himself, the Knight Valiant. Um, I haven't given any enhancements. He's my warlord um, and he's an absolute gun boat. Uh, he's got all the big guns, so he's got his big configuration cannon, it's a flamer, uh, the harpoon, um, which hopefully will be wrecking some monsters. Um, his melters and loads of other bits in Bob Shield Breaker stuff. Um, he's not great in combat, but hopefully I'll be keeping him out of combat. Um, his abilities are uh, any Armagers within six inch get the benefit of cover, which is ideal. Um, also, a unit hit by one of his weapons, um, so I can pick one unit hit by them, and they have to take a leadership test, a battle shock test, um, which is obviously scary getting hit by a harpoon in the face. Um, yeah, so he's a beast. Uh, we'll go to the next unit, um, which is the Knight Gallant. Um, he is my combat knight, um, and I've given him the enhancement. Um, what have I given him? Banner? Oh, no, I haven't given him that. I've given him Mysterious Guardian. Uh, so basically, um, at the end of the opponent's turn, I can pick him off the board, and he goes into Deep Strike, as long as he's not tied up. Um, he has the ability um, minus one to hit, um, which is crazy because um, he's massive. <laughs> um, but also a nice get bondsman abilities, which basically affects these little armagers in front. Um, so um, his bondsman ability is I pick an armager within 12 inch and the armager gets to reroll charge um, and then reroll hits in melee, which is nice. Uh, the next knight is the knight preceptor. Um, he's a bit of both. He's good in combat, good at shooting. Um his, uh, oh, I've given him an enhancement as well, uh, the Banner of Macarius. Uh, so basically he's got sticky objectives. I can just sit on an objective, walk off, and it's still mine. 
because I don't want to be leaving such, uh, I've only got seven models in this list, I don't want to be leaving them back in my deployment zone, holding objectives. Um, his ability is um, he, at uh, the start of the battle, I pick a unit and he gets to re-roll all hits against that unit. Um, so that's pretty nice. If there's a unit I really want to take down, I can sort of pick that and focus on him with this knight. Um, his bondsman ability is he gives an armager plus one leadership, plus two OC, which is not bad. Um, if I'm trying to fight over a middle objective, I can send an armager in there. And I think they end up being OC 10. Um, I'll double check that. But um, So it's really good. Um, so he's a beast as well. Um, then we have at the front four armagers. Um, really good models, really uh, good date sheets, I think. Uh, really tough, toughness 10. Um, <clears throat> also, um, they all have the same loadout, which is Thermal Spears, Melter, and the Chain Cleaver. So they can shoot and they can hit in combat. Um, their ability is on the charge, they get sustained hits 1. So if you're using the um, Gallant's ability where they get to reroll hits, you can sort of fish for them sustained hits. Um, so I really like the list. I'm really interested to see how it does um, with some of them date slate changes. Um, knights can move uh, through ruins now, um, but on the roll of a 1, I'm battle shocked. Um, I can still move over the 4-inch ruins without having to do that roll. Um, also in the prior Nexus mission deck, I can uh, do actions and still shoot uh, with the big knights. Um, also, the big knights can do actions in combat, um, which is really nice. So... Um, knights have been um, tret quite nicely, I think. Um, let's see how they do in this game. So here is 2,000 points of Tyranids. Um, a lot of big bugs came because they've clearly adapted um, fighting the knights. Um, so they brought the biggest boys to take them down. Uh, Jack, lovely army. I love it, mate. Um, do you want to go over your rules? So basically, what army is your rules. army rule? Yeah. Army rule. Okay, the army rule is a shadow in the warp. So once per turn... Um, I can essentially try and battle shock your whole army. And if you're within sign ups range of me, it's minus one to your battle shock. And because you have a neuro target, it could potentially be minus two. And so you do that in the. Um, in, you can do that in once. one of our command phases. Yeah, you can one, do that once per battle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as well as that, it's sign up. So 3d6 on the leadership. And also plus one strength if I'm in sign ups range, which is six inches from any of my sign ups base. I don't have a lot. But I've got things to extend that a little bit. Nice. I like it. So, pretty good rule. Um, and the detachment you brought today? Detachment invasion fleet. Um, Going to try and do critical hits against vehicles. Try and get some wounds through where they might not usually go through in a in a regular game. In a regular, yeah, in yeah. A regular way, you know. Yeah. So, try and get them, uh, them wounds through. I like it. Um, Basically, that gives all his... Is that just uh, combat or is it shooting as well? Uh, just combat, that So one. just combat, you get lethal hits, basically. Yep. Nice. So um, I like it. Let's get through them units. Okay. So let's start from right to left with the big beast. Then we'll go from right to left with all the little gribblies. So starting with this big fella. That is my uh, Tyrannifex. He's just been finished a couple of days ago, so he's ready for the battlefield. He has just got a bit of an upgrade, so it'll be interesting to see how he plays. Yeah, is he? So he's a shooty boy, yeah. He's the big shooty boy, yeah. Uh, D six uh, plus six damage on his cannon with two shots. Nice, nice. So nice he's open to take out some knights, yeah. Um, and he hopefully will get new model syndrome because you've just painted him. Yeah, I'm hoping he dies no, pretty no, soon. No, 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 no. <laughs> Probably not. Right. Yeah, hundred percent. Got a psychophage. Got two of them. Also, oh, the psychophage, the back, yeah. Yeah, grimly guy at the back. Uh, I added them to the army when he had a lot more bugs. Sort of changed my army about a bit, but decided to keep them anyway. I haven't used them, but they might prove to come. They might prove to be handy. Yeah, and what what do they do? The they second ages. Up, uh, they give out a six up feel no pain or a nearby unit. Oh, so that's pretty nice. A bit more survivable. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. We'll certainly need it. And you've got two of them, yeah. Two of them. Lovely jubbly. Uh, the next unit, the Screamer Killer. Screamer Killer, two of them as well. Stick it to the theme of two for a couple of units here. Yeah. They are just um, strength nine, high AP. Three damage, but if they're in sign-ups out of the strength of ten, which will help against those pesky armages, hopefully, Definitely, fingers yeah. crossed. So we'll see how we get on with them. So hopefully they'll be screaming and killing, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, battle shock on the scream as well, and the uh, ranged weapon. Oh, I like that. So plenty of battle shock. Oh, a lot of battle shock. 
Um, next up, big fella himself, old, old one eye himself. He's just he's a bait stick. Put him out there. He uh, he can regenerate wounds. He's fantastic. Yeah, I, do you know he's he's so tough. Just with that regenerating wounds, he's got has he got like five or feel no pain or something. He doesn't feel no pain. No infant, but he does have the feel no pain. So if you're gonna kill him, just try and kill him outright. Yeah, I think that's a, a really good idea. Um, next up, so we've got another streamer killer, another psychophage. Uh, this guy, uh, the Harris Specs, crab guy. This guy has. So his main weapon isn't very strong. It's his uh, it's his grasping uh, tongue, which is plenty of attacks, damage to more anti infantry, which isn't going to come in clutch. But his claws are pretty high strength, um, high AP and high damage. So you know, yeah, he's, yeah. he's not a very very expensive, and he, he he does have an A tank a little bit, so he should come in handy. Yeah, and to be fair, for, for how cheap he is, he can put out the work, can't oh, he? Certainly, like, certainly. he could definitely he, be killing armor. Take, like take down light like, vehicles. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then the last big bug... Is the Exocrine, which yep. is superb for taking down, you know, your uh, your tougher infantry, your Terminators. Yeah, your yeah. Your damage three stuff. Maybe not great at the night, but his ability gives me uh, re-rolls of one to hit. Right, against nice. Against a unit. So if he shoots something, and then the Tyrann effect shoots something, the Tyrann effects, if he stays still, is potentially hitting on two, three rolling ones. Nice, I like it. So a nice little ability, and he's got a big gun, so he can start chipping wounds off. Everyone loves big guns. <laughs> exactly. So let's go back to the right again. Uh, We've got the lads. Broodlord and Gene Steelers. Ton of attacks, hitting on twos. Broodlord's got sign-ups now, so it increases the strength of the Gene Steelers. I don't think that'll make too much of a difference in this game, but in most games it'd be great. But, you know, I want to try it out anyway. Yeah. And that's them. And they've got things like Infiltrate, haven't they? Um, I think where they can they set, set the mid-board. I think the the Scout. Ah, right, oh, well, right, I'm right. yeah. yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah, fair play. Um, the next up, should we go back oh, to this guy Bivor. here? Bivor. So the Bivor took a bit of a hit because the Spore Mines obviously can't perform actions. But there's still other things we can do with him. We'll see how he gets on. I still think he's cheaper now. He's only 50 points. I think he, he might he might make his points up, you know. Yeah, and he, he can shoot out a line of sight, right? Yeah, if all fails, he can just shoot stuff. Yeah, shoot out a line of sight. Obviously, he can get engaged on all fronts, I think, with the um, yeah, that's with right. the little spore mines, things like that. Um, so and also movement shenanigans, you know. With the spore mines, you can't advance near them or anything. Yeah, so sort so of like move. if I want to block any little... You know, with you having bigger base and stuff, I can potentially... Block parts of the board, Definitely, yeah. and you don't want to spend your shooting on spoil mines. Exactly, yeah. Uh, next up, uh, another new unit that you've just painted. Yeah, uh, two units of gargoyles. First time using these in a game, so it'll be interesting to see how these. But these guys have got some nice movement bits. You know, the idea is to have them off the board, have them in reserve. Yeah, they can come in, they can shoot, they can move. And then hopefully get to where they want to be, swoop and take some objectives off you yeah. at critical points in the game. That's the plan. Fast lads, I'm guessing they're a 12 inch move, are they? They are 12 inch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. nice. Uh, and then two units of little gribblies. Little neural gods. So these are really just to try and spread the side ups throughout my army uh, so I can cover more ground with that and have it where I need to be at the time. That's, that's what they're there for. Yeah. That's all. Nice and simple. Uh, then we've got your Warlord's unit himself. Okay, yep, the Neuro Tyrant and his Zone Throps. He can join Zone Throps now. He gives them uh, re-rolls to hit. And if one of your units is battle shot, he gives that unit re-roll to wound as well. Ooh. So that could be quite good. Yeah, because Zone Throps have some quite strong weapons, don't they? They do, pretty much like brand last cannons. Yeah, yeah. And one more unit, I believe, and that's the... Can't forget the Hormagons. Yes, yeah, so actually, there's that guy back there as well, but we'll get him last. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Omegaunts. Um, yep, these guys, I've only brought 10 of them. I did want to bring 20 originally, but I didn't want to bring too many bodies for this game. Just for... Speed in sort of, Speed, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I can't leave them behind, I love them. The fast, um, OC2, so hopefully, the plan for them is just to uh, play objectives. And yeah. Hopefully hold objectives. Then maybe take an objective off, you will see. I like it. And then the last, last unit, the very yep. last unit... <laughs> <laughs> is the Tyranid Pride with wings. The idea with him is, I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty long sign up. So with this guy, I just want him to zip about, hopefully give sign ups to where it needs to be. He's probably not going to kill any knights, but hopefully he comes in handy throughout the game. Yeah, yeah. So, class, I love the army. Uh, it's painted absolutely beautifully. Um, very Thank alien-like. You, Thank you. Um, oh, and this is going to be an absolute mashup with all these big bugs and all the big knights. So... Looking forward to getting this one started. So let's see you in the game. So the cards have been drew. We've got Deployment, Crucible of Battle, 
and um, that's basically these big diagonal ones um you've got a objective marker in each deployment zone and then you've got three in no man's land primary mission linchpin um and basically that is from the second battle round onwards um you get three vp for each objective marker and um, you control that's if you don't ho or hold your home objective or you get five VP for each one you control if you do hold your home objective and you get three for your home one. So basically, you're holding that. Sit the, I'm deployed at this side. If I'm holding that, uh, I get five for each objective marker and then three for that. If I'm not holding that, I just get three for each one. And then mission rule is adapt or die. Um, we're both using tactical missions. Basically, twice per battle, we, if, if we draw a mission card we don't like, we can just shuffle it back into the deck for free. So that's pretty good. Um, so the battlefield is set. Uh, basically, the Tyranids have smashed right into the Imperium lines. Um, they're deep in the city now, and the Knights have came to meet them. Uh, I might have made a mistake by uh, deploying so aggressively, frontlining them, but a lot of them have got cover. Um, my big Knight Valiant, uh, Valiant can just move through that now. Um, if, as long as I don't if I roll a one, he's battle shocked. Um, so they're all frontlining it. Jack's army are all frontlining it as well. Um, we're just we're ready to go. We're just ready to go. Yeah. yeah. Um, terrain wise, um, basically you've got your big obscuring. So you've got that obscuring, that obscuring, that obscuring, and that is. Uh, these are just um, woods. So it's um, basically you get your cover if you're shooting through it. Um, also, we've got little stuff like these craters. Um, if you've got an infantry model wholly within, he gets cover. Um, and then we've just said that ruined tank over there, you get cover if you're shooting through it. Um, so yeah, lots of cover, lots of obscuring on the board. But the big question is, Jack, do you want to go first or second? I want to go first. You want to, go... to mention half my army is actually behind you. <clears> That's very true. So in <laughs> reserves, Jack has got two units of... Gargoyles. Gargoyles, a unit of gene stealers with the... Broodlord. Broodlords. And, and the Tyranid Prime. And the Tyranid Prime. So they're all in reserves and they can all deep strike here. Yeah? That's, well, the G seals can't. They're just right, so they're just in strategic, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. So they're on reserves. I've got nothing in reserves. Um, so it's going to be a good one, Jack. Let's uh, roll off these dice and okay. let's see who's going to go first. Tell you right. what, I'll move these out the way. Thank you. Uh, so knights get a a five. Whoa. Let's go, Jack. Any chances? Taking a five. Uh, this quite is how slim. the game's going to go. Here, ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> so, Knights, turn one. So, the cards have been drawn. Extend battle lines, you can sabotage. Extend battle lines is basically, at the end of my turn, um, if I have an objective marker in no man's land and the one in my deployment zone, I get five points. So, a good one for turn one. Sabotage, um, I have to do an action in a terrain piece. If it's in no man's land, I get three points. If it's in Jack's deployment, I get six, which obviously I won't be able to get six in Jack's deployment, but I should be able to get the three. So, movement, um, I've been quite reserved. I've moved everything forward to get in range with stuff, but I don't want to get hit by a counter-attack. Um, so, um, I've kept everything back a little bit, so Jack can't just be all charge me his turn one. Um, things are in range, like the Preceptor, but with his low intensity, things like that. And he's picked his re-rolls to be on the Tehran effects over here. Because um, he can do that once per battle, and he can just re-roll hits against that unit all game. Uh, these two armages have moved forward. Um, he's grabbed this one in No Man's Land for um, extend battle lines, and they're both in range with uh, things over here. Then the uh, Valiant has just moved through that wall, so I need to roll a dice for him. Um, on a one, he's battle shocked, um, otherwise, he's fine just moving through the wall. So, yep, yeah, he's alright, and that's the new Knight's rule, which is quite nice. Um, these two armages have moved forward so they can get some shots off over there, maybe on the Screamer Killer or the uh, Crab thing. Um, and then the Gallant is moving at that terrain piece and he's doing the action so he can um, so I can get the points for sabotage. Um, I haven't jumped on that objective. Um, I just didn't want things to be too far forward, um, especially with the Screamer Killer so close. They've all moved forward. Eight. I think oh, Screamer Eight. Killers, most card effects are right. Yeah, sweet. So... Uh, yeah, I think we move forward. Uh, Bondsman abilities I put onto stuff, but it won't actually make a difference in this turn, so I won't even bother saying. Um, let's get some shooting on the go. So I'm starting off the shooting with the Valiant. Uh, he's not in range of anything besides from his Shield Breaker missiles and his uh, Shield Breaker cannon. So the two missiles um, are going to go into the Screamer Killer. Oh. 
Um, and the cannon is going to go into the uh, Hormagaunts. Uh, so yeah, I'll do the Hormagaunts first. Uh, it's D6 plus uh, two for blast. So six shots. So we've got three, four, five, six. So hitting on threes. Uh, so four hits, and then wounding on twos. Uh, so four wounds. Jack, if you take the ones behind the tank, um, you'll have four Forp saves. That's not too bad. Well, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Four four ups. <laughs> so one oh, dies. Yeah, one dies. That I can live with. Yeah, that's not bad at all, really, for you. So now the two uh, missiles, um, shield breaker missiles, I think they're called, or shield breaker something. It's some shield breaker. He has two of them, <laughs> and they're the big strength twelve ones. So they're both going into the screamer killer. Um, Jack has played a strat for one CP, which gives him a five up feel no pain, and um, basically you have to be in sign up. So a big warlord brain guy has gone into the little gribbly guys. Gribbly guys have gone into the screamer killer. So he's got five up feel no pain. So two shots hit on freeze. Um, I could re-roll one, hit and one wound, so I'll go for my hit on this one. Uh, no. Strength 12, so freeze. Does wound. Uh, minus 6, so I'm guessing that goes straight through. Minus 6, yes. So, D6 plus 1 damage. 7 damage, so 7, 5 up kill, no pains. No. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty strong Come gun. Come on, 5 ups, was it worth it? Uh, mm, I'll save 2. So yeah, so 5 go five through. 5 wounds. Cool. Bit of shooting. We've got the first armager. Um, I'll do the one close to the um, gallon. <laughs> Uh, and he is shooting his thermal spear to the same target, Screamer Killer. He's down to five wounds remaining, and I want to take him out. So two shots, hit on threes. Uh, both hits, wounded on threes. Uh, but I can reroll one of them. So one wound, you get a six up save, Jackie boy. Come on, let's see it. Nope, so it's just D6 damage. Oh, it's a six. <laughs> so you've got six, five up, feel no pains, Jack. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> uh, so he takes three more wounds okay. not bad not bad so next armager same thing again thermal spear um, it's gone into the same target he's on two wounds so if Jack hadn't have played that strat I'd have been able to start targeting different stuff now so a strat well spent I think on there um, thermal spear two shots hitting on threes uh, I get to reroll one hit so both hit and then wounding on threes and uh, I get to reroll one wound so just one six up save be nice if I got this. Nope. Nope. So D6 damage. Can I get another six? Oh, I saw it wink. So you just need one five up here. You need two dice. Uh, one five oh, up and he survives. Nice. Oh, he both. Oh, that's harsh. I'm really clutching at straws here, but the Gallant is going to take a shot at the same target, Screamer Killer. Um, he, that big knights can uh, do actions and shoot um, on the new uh, data slate. So three shots, hit on freeze. Uh, two hits. I get to reroll one hit. So three hits, and then wounding on fives and sixes, only strength eight. So one, and then re-roll one wound. So two, so two at minus two, so you've got a four up save. Oh, he's done it That's again. Not having it, is two it? sixes he's again. His yeah, he's a tough boy, him. He is tough a tough boy. boy. So the Knight Preceptor, um, he's going to put his guns into the Tyrann effects. Um, I mean, it's not going to kill it. I'd probably be at going into something a bit weaker, especially with its low intensity, but... I'm rerolling hits against it, and I need to start chipping wounds off it because that's probably my biggest target, for, like a uh, range threat. So let's do it. So I've got the rocket pod in the uh, Laz Impulsor. So I'll do the Laz Impulsor first, low intensity, 2d6 shots. Uh, oh, nasty, five. So five shots, and we're hitting on threes. Uh, I won't use one of these to reroll, I'll save for the rocket pod. And then we're wounding on five and sixes. Um, just one at minus one. So you've got a free up save. Free up save. Saves it. Nice. Right. Um, and I'll do the rocket pod. So hit on freeze. Uh, so I'll reroll one hit. And then wounding on uh, five and sixes. Uh, I'll reroll one wound. So just one at minus two. So one four up save. Nice. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So I've just got two armor just left. Get them shot and then. Uh, That'll be turn. Of course, um, he is re-rolling hits against that target. So the last impulse that missed. Good talk. So these two armagers, um, I think I'm going to change tact. If they roll really well, I could kill a screamer killer. Um, this guy only gets a six up, feel no pain, not a five up. And um, that's from the guy behind him. Um, I could keep chipping wounds off the um, 
start chipping wounds. Yeah, I could start chipping wounds off uh, the Tyranno effects. I could start chipping wounds off him. Or Steven. But if I could actually kill a Screamer Killer, that'd be better. So, yeah, both. Um, well, I'll shoot one armager into him. Let's see how it goes. Two shots, Thermal Spear. Melters are in range. So re-rolling one hit, one hit, and then wounding on threes. Wounds, uh, so that's um, a minus uh, four, so you've got a six up save on this guy. Six up save. One, Ooh. so d6. Four, so four, six up fill more pains. So I'm not using these orange four anymore. wounds. <laughs> so he's down to six, right? Yeah, I believe so. So I'll go straight to the next armager, um, and this will be my last bit of shooting. So thermal spear, uh, both hit, and then we're wounding on threes. Both wounds, so two more sixes. Two more sixes, saves. Both go through, so 2d6. Oh, fuck. Uh, I might CP one of them. Just uh, try and get rid. He's on six wounds. Does he start off with... Um, how much did I put through there? Was it four, was it? Or 11? Oh, sorry, or five. Four. So I think I'm going to CP this, just to try and get rid. Three, so it's... Uh, five fill no pins. Right, I'm using the purple dice because the yeah, orange dice go for it. suck. Go for it. Come on, let's see those little turning heads. There's one, so he takes four more wounds. Nice. Yeah, so he's down to two. So that is end of night's turn one. Um, I couldn't kill anything, which is a shame. I, I was hoping to get at least one of the big uh, bugs, but two streamer killers down to two wounds each, which is something. Um, so extend battle lines, I get for five VP. Uh, sabotage you get for three, uh, put me on eight VP. Um, so going into Tyranids, turn one. Tyranids, turn one. Defend Stronghold and recover assets. Defend Stronghold is basically at the end of my turn. Um, as long as he holds his home objective, gets three points for it. Um, recover assets um, is doing action in his deployment zone, doing action in no man's land, doing action in my deployment zone. If you get two of them zones, you get uh, three points. If you get all three, you get six, which obviously Jack turn one is going to be getting um, two of them. Uh, also, Jack also drew... Um, no, uh, it was Storm Hostile Objective. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you had to yeah. shuffle it back in. Uh, he also drew Assassinate um, and decided to use his one... Uh, you get two per game for this um, of the mission rule. Basically, he shuffled one of them back in his deck. So he's used that once. He shuffled the Saturnate back in. Um, so uh, everything has moved forward. Um, he's put the Screamer Killer behind this terrain just to um, get a bit of cover because he's only on two wounds. Uh, this Screamer Killer went flying forward but just not in range of that objective. Um, his big guns have just stayed put. Um, this Psychophage yep. has moved forward just to give his uh, six up feel no pain aura. Um, the Neuraloids have moved here to give their... Um, Thingy aura, where uh, synapse aura. Synapse um, this neuroloid is doing an action in here, in the, for his deployment zone. Um, old one eye just came flying forward, and these um, hormigons oh, no, 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 no. have <laughs> uh, advanced forward and have grabbed this objective. So he's on one objective. He's doing an action with him, um, and these are also doing an action in no man's land. So he gets the three points for that. Mm. Um, and he's just working on defense stronghold at the end of my turn. So lots of shooting coming my way. Uh, let's see if I can withstand it. This bit of shooting is the Screamer Killer. This is an assault weapon, yeah? Yep. Um, he advanced uh, and he's shooting his... Uh, death Scream. Death Scream into this armager. Yep. Um, basically, this could cause a battle shock. Um, so if he's battle shocked, what do you get from that from these? Is it some uh, sort of... It's So because of the Neuro Tyrant, they are plus one to hit. But if the battle shock, they're plus one to wound as well. Yeah, so in the, obviously this guy has an ability where if I hit a battle, battle shock test just by getting hit off him. So I'm going to rotate Iron Shield because I know a lot of firepower is going to be coming into him. So he's got a four pin fun. Um So yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, uh, it's D6 plus three shots. Nice. Okay. So eight shots. Six, yeah. Uh, not hit on four, sorry. On fours, yeah. Okay. So three hits. Uh, strength eight. So wounds on five and sixes. So one, what's the minus on that? Minus two. Minus two, and he's in cover, so it'll be just a four. Yep, yeah, goes through, what's the damage? 
damage one. Damage one. So he's down to 11, and I have to take a Battleshock test, right? Yeah. So this is minus one to it. Um, and what's the reason for that? It's minus one. Uh, initiate the first after this model is shot. Select one enemy unit hit by one or more of those attacks. That unit must take a Battleshock test, subtracting one from the test. Nice. And also, I uh, plus, plus one to this because he was my bondsman from the uh, Preceptor. So basically, I've got a seven. Uh, and he passes. He's, he's all right. He's all right. But he this... takes a wound. So the armager is down to 11 wounds. The first bit of wounds taken off the knights. The next screamer killer. He's going to shoot him through the window. Same target okay. through the window. Okay, so, D6 plus 3. Same again. And again. And basically he's just trying again to get this battle shop test. Hoping that I fail this time. So oh, hitting on four. fours. Wow. <laughs> to <it. laughs> but them two automatically go through, right? Because he's available. Oh, we forgot dude, about that last time, didn't we? Right, yeah. Um, so we'll remember it from now on. People will be screaming at the screen, but... <laughs> what the f- <laughs> So we're back in the room. Some sort of ghost has been uh, hitting the wall and now there's no pictures left on it. So Jack's decided to come and destroy the studio. Yeah, because <laughs> you took some weird stuff for Screamer Killers so I wasn't happy with it. So I've got two saved. Uh, were these at minus? Two. Two, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah. four ups. Uh, one save, one goes through. So he takes a wound. The more important bit, battle shock. Six seven, he just saves it on a seven. Okay. Right. Next bit of shooting um, is the um, zone throws. Big brain guys all shooting into the same target, um, and they get plus one hit because of your uh, even bigger brain guy. Yep. So six shots hitting on twos. Just check we've got six. That's it. Let's do it. So one misses, five hit, and that one goes straight through. Yeah. Yep. And then wounding on strength twelve. Did you say? Strength twelve, so threes. Yep. So um, three more. It's not devastating wounds, right, was it? It might be enough. One double check. Uh, no, it's lethal hits. Lethal hits, nice. So, yeah. four saves. Also, I forgot to do my two uh, six up feel no pains for my uh, amateur for the two he took. Uh, so he's actually only took one wound. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's so, seven. I've got, how many saves did you say there? Four. Uh, four. Four saves of minus. Three. Three, so it should be his four in one. Uh, saves two, fails two. Um, so, what's the damage on that? Uh, D6 plus one. So 2d6 plus 2, technically, here. <laughs> nice and high. Oh, so that's 12. <laughs> so I've got 12 fill no pains. Four. Six ups. Twelve. Six ups. Six ups. So see if we can weather this. Oh, I didn't get one. Not a sausage. So that's a dead armor jersey blow. Right. Not implodes. And that is first blood. Last bit of shooting. We've got an exocrine leveling its weapon into the armager over there. So a d6 plus um, three shots. Four, five, six, seven shots. Hitting on twos, yeah? Because he stayed still. On twos, that's right. And sixes are. Go straight through, yeah? But we didn't get any. So one miss, and then wounding on. That is strength nine. So we're on five and sixes, yeah. But all you want to do is hit here, right? Yeah. So minus. Uh, minus three. Minus three, he's got cover, so it'll be a four up. No, damage. Three. Ah, nasty. So he's down to nine wins remaining. Next bit of shooting, Tyran effects into the same armager. He wants to pop two armagers here. Can um, we do it? It can be done, it can be done. So uh, how many shots do you get? So it's uh, two shots, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Yep. Rolling. Nice. <laughs> right. Strength. Strength 18. So we're on threes. Threes. Do I have a CP? So I might have to re-roll one of these. You do. I don't oh, think you've yeah, used one. Yeah, I didn't use one this turn, have I? Yeah. Don't need to. Go through. Um, go through. So minus four. Minus four, so minus three. So two five ups. Uh, Sears one fills. What was the damage on that? Uh, D6 plus six. D6 plus six. Oh, and I forgot to roll for my three wounds that he's already took. So only sixes. Should really remember that. So he's took two. So D6 plus six, you say? Yep. Go for it. Oh, well, I don't have any CP left. Go for it. Now what I can do about that. <laughs> oh Twelve. <my> God. <laughs> what is going on with this rolling? For eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he's took one wound so far. So I need a couple of sixes here to keep him alive. I can't get them all in my hand. Can't get them all in the hand. Yeah, got him. Can I get any sixes this time? I do this time. So he's took uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wounds. So he's down to two. Nasty. So this armature's actually on one wound. Uh, sirens going off in the cockpit and smoke bellowing out of it. 
but he's still alive. Jack actually has no more shooting left um, and is actually end of Jack's turn. There's yeah, no charges. And, uh, no buy of all because I didn't actually put him in my list. Yeah. For some <laughs> there reason. There was, was a buy of all yeah, that we were about to sh- out a line of sight shoot into him uh, and Jack realised that he actually wasn't in the list. Yeah, so sadly... He's- He's not in. He's got more important jobs to attend to, so he's gone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, no charges. Uh, we'll just get uh, look over Jack's card, see what he got. So, defend Stronghold, still in play. Um, at the end of my turn, Jack should get three points for that if I don't have a Stronghold. Recover assets. Um, Jack gets three points for it, for doing an action uh, with his Psychophage and doing an action with him over there. So, uh, not a bad turn. Uh, you got... Three points, working on another three points. Um, you shot some stuff, killed an armager, got one at one wound, and you wrecked the studio by knocking all them down. So, a classic Tyranid turn. Yeah. So, beginning of uh, Knight's turn two. Airy Denial. So, make sure there's no bugs in the centre. Um, within six inches of it, and have one of my units holding within three inches of it. So, I can do that. Five points. Assassination. It's going to be a little bit harder, but I'm going to keep it because I want to kill characters anyway. Um, so let's see if I can do that. Um, basically, you get five points for that for killing the character. So at the end of Jack's turn, I took up the knight Gallant, and he has landed back here. He wants to try and stop Jack from getting Defend Stronghold, um, and I want to stop him from getting any primary either. So it's a big nine is charge, but he's landed there. Over here, everything's pushed forward. So the um, Preceptor has moved forward. So you can get as high intensity into the big shooty bugs. Um, he also probably wants to try and get a charge off maybe on the brain bugs. Um, also, the Valiant's move forward. Um, some armagers have moved forward there. He's jumped on that objective. This one's moved forward here. Um, so yeah, everything's moved forward. This one we really need to hit back, try and take out some of them bigger bugs. I know I've left my back lines and Jack has stuff in the reserves, but... I can't afford to leave any of the knights behind. Um, and, and what fun is that? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. They all want to be out slicing and dicing. Smashing insects to bits. <laughs> so first bit of shooting, the Valiant is splitting fire left, right and centre. He's putting his big uh, shield break and missile launchers with two shots into um, Old One Eye. And he's also putting his harpoon into Old One Eye. He's putting his melter and his conflagration cannon into the crab. And he's putting his little missiles, the uh, D6 blast shots, into the little um, Neurogaunts. Neurogaunts down there. So uh, let's start off with the fun stuff. Let's start off with that harpoon. We're going to try harpoon ourselves an old one eye. So hitting on twos. So it hits. Uh, looking for the four for anti uh, monster. So it doesn't. Uh, it does wound, but I get to re roll that because he gets real one hitting wound. So it does, that's just 12, because uh, it's devastating wound, anti monster force. So you've got 12, 5 up, feel more pains. Ooh. Are you going to avenge your armature? Let's see. Yeah. Mm. All right. That's pretty good roll. Um, old One Eye is on the two wounds remaining. We've still got the two shots from the um, the missile, shield break and missile thing. Is that on him? That's on him as well. Okay. So hitting on threes, uh, both yeah. hits, um, and then wounding on what's your toughness? Toughness. Is nine. So threes. Uh, two more saves. Um, these are at minus. I think they're minus six to be fair. So they go straight through. So uh, two d six plus two damage here. Um, and then old one I get his feel no pains. So that is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five up feel no pains. Can you do it? Old I one I survive. Don't think so, but I'll roll anyway because crazier things have happened. Crazier here. things have happened. Is it eleven? Did you say? Uh, that is. I think it was eleven. Yeah, yeah, it was eleven. Right, no. That is a dead he's old one eye. And that is Does assassinate. he explode? Go for it. No, he don't mean explode. No, a couple of limbs fall off, but he just gets yeah, splattered. the armature. Next up, the conflagration cannon is big flamer into the big crab. What actually is that crab called? Uh, Hor- Horospex, Horospex, something Horospex. like that. Horospex, nice. So, 3d6 shots. Uh, 5, 6, 7. Not great, but I've just killed old one eye, so he can't complain. No. Uh, four, five, six, seven. It's caused you enough problems. Yeah, it? <laughs> he has actually. This is strength for eight, so five and sixes. Um, only one at minus one, and it ignores cover. So just so one free up. up. I think. He's four, nice. anyway. Cool. So now the melter gun is going into the uh, horror specs. He's taking some firepower. Yeah, he's taking some. So hitting on threes. Uh, both hits. And then wounding on... Uh, toughness 11, wasn't it? Toughness 11, is it? So yeah. wound on freeze. Um, both wounds. 
Uh, they're at minus four, so you've got. Ooh. Do you want to check your safe because you get cover here as well? Ah, so that if if I get cover, it'll probably be on sixes. Yeah, so six ups. How many was it? Two. Oh. Nice. Right, so one. two d six. Let's see some high rolling. Five, six, seven wounds. Seven, six up, feel no pains because this psychic phase is just behind him. Uh, so so nice, two, it takes five. Five wounds of him. So he's down to nine, nine. wounds, I believe. Nine, he's a big fella. And we've just got the little missile shield breaker thing into these little gribblies. So yeah, can you do that now? Let's get rid of some of them. D6 plus two. So it's only four. Uh, and that is hitting on threes. Um, and then it's wounding on twos. Uh, We're so not that bothered about them, are we? Yeah, so you've just got two saves, no minus. Um, what's their save? Fives and sixes. Okay. None of them. Over at this armager, um, he's shooting his thermal spear into this screaming killer on two wounds, and he just shot his melt into them in front of him, but in range of all else. Um, so he killed one of them. So the thermal spear into the screamer killer. I want to kill him screaming. Hit on freeze. Then reroll one hit. So both hits. Wounding on threes. Reroll one wound. So that's two. It's minus four. So Jack has two six ups. Two six ups. Uh, nothing there. I'll go through. This is two D6 plus two, I believe. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so that's nine. D6. It's just flat D6. I don't, I don't know where my head's at, but I just don't play knights <laughs> enough oh. these days. So two D6. So it's nine altogether. So nine six up feeling no pains. Is dead screamer killer. Does he explode? We don't want him to. See if he does. We don't want him to explode. <laughs> he does. Of course he does. <laughs> we'll check how much damage he does. Uh, we'll get back to you. Next, um, Armager. He's just putting everything into the horror specs. So, start off with his melter, hitting on threes. Misses. Uh, I might as well re roll it for his re roll. No. And then the thermal spear, hitting on threes. And then wounding on your toughness 11, right? Yep. So wound on freeze. And reroll for his wound roll. So two saves, um, minus four. So you get a. So you don't get a save. Okay. Um, so it'd be 2d6. So that's six uh, damage. So six. Six ups? Yep. So he takes four damage. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, Melters are only uh, strength nine, but I still got a five and six, so it still went straight through onto him. Um, then we're going over to the Gallant. He's shooting both his weapons up the ass of this Psychophage. So he's got a rocket and he's got a Melter. So there's rockets, three shots, hitting on threes. Nice. Um, two hits, and then wounding on strength eight. So it's nine, so five and sixes. Just one um, at minus um, two. So it's minus two, uh, so he's got four up save because he's in cover. So let's go. Oops. He fills. Five and fill more pins. So D6, four damage on him. Okay. Five and fill more pins. Takes three. Takes three. He's down to six wounds remaining. Yep. Um, we're going to go in with the Melter, uh, hitting on freeze. It's wounding on fours. Strength nine, toughness nine. Wounds, that's minus four, so you'll have a... Um, so six up save because he's in cover. Okay, go for it. Uh, six. Up. How many? Just one. Just one. Just nope. make it. That's d six. Three more. So three, five, and two more pins. Takes two it's, more. Takes two more. So he's down to four. Chipping him down. Going on to the preceptor, shooting his melter gun and his rocket pod into the screamer killer, wanting to stop him screaming and killing, and then the last impulse on high intensity into the. What's he called, Jack? Who's that? The Tranifex. Tranifex. Right. So uh, we'll do the ones in here first. So the Melter, um, hitting on threes. Uh, misses. Um, I'm going to reroll. So he hits, and then wounding on uh, your toughness of your Screamer Killer. Nine. So threes. Uh, I'll reroll that. Uh, sorry, fours this, because it's the Melter. Does wound, and that is minus four. You're in cover, and um, you get two up save, so you get five up save, right? Yep. Lucky dude. Um, so, D6 damage. And that'll kill the Does it screamer explode? killer. No. He doesn't. The rockets just go to waste and blow up a few trees. And then uh, the high intensity Laz Impulsor is going into this big piece. No D6 shots. Five. I like. I really like. Hit on freeze, but re rolling because he's his target. So, they all hit anyway. 
And then wounding on three, strength 14. Oh no, but you can reroll one wound roll. So three saves, uh, that is at minus three. So, so three five ups. You got two up, yep. Three five ups to you, sir. Yep. Uh, makes one. Two go through four damage each, so just eight, six up feeling no pains. Uh, and I can turn one of them to zero. Right, you can do that once per game, yeah. So four just, uh, so just four. Um, feel four, no pains. Four six ups. Yep. Uh, we don't make any. So he takes four wounds. So he's down to 12. Nice. A bit of shooting is this armager. He's minus one to hit now because he's um, really degraded. So I'm shooting my melter into these zone for ropes. I'm going to shoot my thermal spear into this, uh, do you say, not Harrowspex, it's the Tyrannifex, that's it. Um, I wish I could remember these names, but... <laughs> you know, they can't make them easy. You know? Oh, they can't make them easy. So, melt the gun into your zone for ropes. One shot, uh, misses, because hit on fours now. Um, and then the thermal spear into the Tyrannifex. Two shots, hitting on fours, both nice. hits. Um, wounding on fours, strength 12, toughness 12. Um, and I can re-roll my wounds. No, so just one save, uh, that's at minus four. Minus four, so the, uh, six up. Oh, yeah, that's it, well done. So that's all the shooting. Um, charges. Just some charges. Big charges happening here. The Preceptor is going into the Brain Bugs, he needs an eight. Um, the, that armager is going into uh, the Horror Specs. That armager is going into them Hormagaunts, and them two are basically in. And then the Gallant needs a big nine to get in there. So... Charges all round. Um, let's see if we can make them. So I'll start. Oh, I'm hoping you don't make any. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, an eight inch charge. Quite a big one for me. It'd be good if I can get him in. Six, seven, Ooh, eight. Shit. He's in. Um, them two armages we'll just put in, but I'll roll anyway. The one with the uh, horror specs, uh, 10. I should have saved that for the Galant, shouldn't I? The one for the um, like Hormagrants. Uh, yeah, nine, I should save that for him. There's no way I'll roll three nine plus charges in a row. This one, this time, the Galant. Fighting my nails. It's five. Oh, okay. yeah. I've got one CP. You could do. Big question is, should I use it? That'd be uh, pretty naughty. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> big 12. <laughs> right. They're all in. Well, all the charges made. Start off with this armager. Hitting on threes. Uh, wounds on fives and sixes. Let's go. So. Nice. One hits. That one's a sustained because he charged. And I can reroll one hit and one wound. So. And that's a stain hit. So there you go through. Uh, wounded on five and sixes. I can re-roll one of them. Oh, so that's three saves at minus three. So you've got three six ups. Okay. Need a three damage of pop, sir. Uh, yeah, so that's nine six well. up feeling no pains. Oh, yeah. Because of the psychophage. I don't think it'll make much difference, but you never know. Come on. No. He's dead. Does he explode? This is when I want him to explode. He does. He does. <laughs> Let's check what damage he does. Oh also, um, before we do the D3 damage and everything, I forgot to mention that Jack actually uses CP in my movement. Um, he fired Overwatch yep. with uh, <laughs> wrong unit. <laughs> this big fella into the armager when he moved, but it didn't hit, sadly. So D3 damage on my armager over there. Uh, just one. Just uh, one. I'll roll, see if I ignore that. He does. Yep. <laughs> and then your and you you're right behind. Two. Two. Do you want to roll sixes? And you can ignore that as well. Ah, uh, yes. Not so they're too dead. Um, I don't know if he'll be in six inches of the zone for all, so I have to double check. Um, Might let's do be. that live on cam. Like it. it is. So D3 to the zones. Two, six up feeling no pains. That kills the zone for up. Makes it better for you. Next armager, he's doing a sweep attack, so eight attacks. Hitting on threes, wins on twos. Reroll them one. Um, so them two are sustained. And then wounding on twos. And this will actually be killing on twos, minus two. Um, I can reroll the wound. Uh, your five up save on Hormagons, right? Uh, I believe so. Let's probably say seven, eight, dead. Over here, the pain train continues. The Gallant hitting the Psychophage. Six attacks, hitting on twos, re-rolling one, and then wounding on twos, re-rolling one. So four go through, and um, I'll just double check the AP, but I know that's eight damage. Let's check the AP. Minus three, yeah, so you've got four six ups. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy. 
Mix one. <laughs> that is eight times three. You do the maths. That's how many. Have you ever seen 24 five ups be made? No, well, you're about to. Look. You're about to. That, I tell you what, that, that's that's good effort. Yeah. That is good effort. Right. Well, so this knight uh, is using his chainsaw because sadly he doesn't have a gauntlet like the other one. So I'm going to do the sweep. Uh, 12 attacks, hitting on threes, wounded on threes. Um, it'll be four pin one, two damage. So lots of attacks, hitting on threes, uh, rolling one of my hits. Um, six is anything? Six is nothing. And then wounding on threes. And rerolling one of my wounds. So you've got four, eight, um, four uh, in ones. Eight, eight in ones, yep. Yep. So one, two, three, four go through. So that'd be um, two dead. Um, but you get your, oh, you don't get your six up now. So no. it'd just be two dead. Two dead. Uh, and that is all my combat. So Jack gets to slap back with these, <laughs> and he also gets to slap back with, with him. Right. So yeah, Airy Denial, I get for five points. Assassination, I get for five. So the big 10 points. That turn was really, really nasty. Um, really good for you. Yeah, really good for me. Um, obviously, Jack still has assets on the table, and he still has a lot <laughs> in uh, deep striking reserves. So yeah. see what happens in Tyranids turn we two. We are going to have so Beginning of Jack's turn two, um, Airy Denial. So same as what I got, basically he needs my unit to about six inches of centre and one of his within three inches of centre. Containment is do actions on table edges, not in your deployment zone. So basically, um, and obviously I denied Jack from getting his three for Defence Stronghold over here. Um, so Jack has fell back with his zone for ops. He don't want them getting hit again. Um, he is going to try and kill him with shooting and he's advanced the new Gaunt. Um into the centre, and um, so they can get the uh, Airy Denial. These two big knights aren't within six, so he just needs to kill him. Um, over here, he's dropped in um, a load of little wings, uh, Tyranids. <laughs> and they, seagulls. Yeah, <laughs> they're within nine inches. These two table edges, so they're getting six points for that. And that is called um, Containment. Containment. And we've got some Gene Stealers. Yeah, so drop some Gene Stealers in, um, and they're going to try and get a 9-inch charge onto the Gallant, I believe. Yep. Um, so yeah, uh, oh, and you need to do a Battle Shock on that single long uh, guy 2D6. over there. 2d6. He's Battle Shocked. Nice. Not that it makes any difference, I don't think. <laughs> so uh, let's get to the shooting phase. So first bit of shooting. Um, is the Exocrine or Exocrine? Exocrine, Exocrine. Um... Extra cream. He's only the extra cry, and if he's dead, <laughs> huh? <laughs> um, into the um, armager. So let's go. D six plus three. So nice. four shots. Um, hitting on uh, twos. Oh, yeah, it's... two go through. Ah, two. Yeah, two go through. And then wounding um, on strength, toughness. Uh, tens have to be so five six nine, nine, so five to sixes. No. All right. So two saves at minus three. Minus three. So it's um, four ups because he's in cover. Sorry, five ups because he's in cover. Oh. Um, so yeah, that gets him. Um, Damage three. He's got feel no pains. Yeah, so he's got six up, feel no pains. Make them all. No. Okay. See if he blows up. Not that it makes a difference. Okay. No. So that is right, a dead armager. So the Tyran effects is leveling his gun and shooting point blank range into the gallant. I'm going to rotate Ion Shield and let's try and keep him alive. That's a four plus gun. Yeah. Hit on twos. Didn't so want that. One goes straight through. Straight through, yeah. Uh, don't you re-roll them for some reason? No, that's... He shot at a different... If he shot... Ah, yeah. right. I see. So, go straight through. What's the minus on it? Well, it'll be the uh, four pin, I'm guessing. Four, so just four pin one. Oh, no! What's the damage on that? D6 plus six. Go for it. I have no CP to do out. So, six, seven, eight. So, I've got eight, uh, six ups. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if I can weather this storm. Uh, I make two, so he takes six. That's damage. not bad. Stinger Salvos going at Knight Gallant as well, who's on 14 wounds remaining. So hit on threes. Uh, two go through, three. nice. And then wounded on sixes with the other five. Put them aside. So another Ooh. two, nice. So four all again. What's the minus on that? No minus on that. This no damage minus. Oh, it's damage, damage one, so that's four, yeah. yeah. Uh, three ups. Takes another two wounds. He's Oof. down to 12. The Psychophage is shooting at the uh, the Preceptor as well. 
Um, so it's like a flamer shot, you say? Yep, D6 shots. Nice, go for it. So two shots. Two. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing we're on sixes. One, minus. Uh, minus one. So four up. He's all right. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. He's big knight. So charge phase. Um, it's a nine I've inch charge. One CP for the gene stealers. Yeah, so nine inch into the um, preceptor. He's only on 12 runes remaining, so you could chew through him. Mm. If you need a nine, you've got a CP to re-roll. That's a snake eyes. <laughs> Try to use a CP. Yep. That's a nine, oh. he gets it, he gets it. Right, they're in. And then you want him to jump these in as well. Why line. not? Let's get him in. Let's go for it. You're going to tap it in. Yeah. Right, so the Gene Stealer have made it into combat. Um, there's 40 attacks from the Gene Stealers. They're hitting on Should twos. 20 than 20. The re-rolling ones. Um, sixes are lethal. And then the devastating wounds because of the uh, brood lord. So yeah. should be able to drag down a knight. Let's see if they can. It'd be pretty cool if they can. Sure. Have you got forty dice ready? No. Nope. You counting? Yes. We'll get back to you then. Also, they get to re-roll wound roll rolls a one because they're in range of this objective. So hit rolls a one, wound rolls a one, lethal hits, devastating wounds, hitting on twos, Anything wounds else? on sixes. Let's go. That's everything. <laughs> right. We'll get back to you. So after re-rolling the ones, um, all them go through, one misses, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are oh, lethal. Yeah, lethal, sorry. So we'll, um, we'll roll these to wound, uh, any sixes uh, devastating, and he's re-rolling ones of this as well. So looking for them sixes, let's go. And then re-rolling ones, we'll get back to you. So four devastating so far, and you're re-rolling these few. No, so... Four devastating, and then I've got nine saves. What's the minus on that? Uh, minus two, I believe. Minus two. Uh, I'm sure it is. You said that, yeah. so it'll be uh, five up saves for the night. Um, and these are one damage a pop, yeah. Yep. So these are five up. So he passes three, uh, and then four the devastating. So all these basically are six up feel no pains. See, if I can feel any pain. Uh, ignore two of them. So for Gene Stealers, he takes five, six, seven, eight wounds. So he's down to four wounds remaining. Okay. Broodlord, hoping to finish the night off. He gets five attacks, but he's re-rolling. Hit rolls are one. He's re-rolling all his wound rolls because he's twin-linked. And he's still got devastating wounds. Um, and obviously, lethal hits as well. So let's go. So one lethal. And re-rolling the, the one there. Nice. Not the unit here. A one. <laughs> so re-roll them, roll them three. Uh, so sixes you're looking for here. And it's twin link, so you can re-roll them two. I saw two damage go through and they have one save at minus two, so five up. Nope, so I've got four six up feel no pains. If I don't get one six here. Yeah, so four altogether. Alright. Uh if I don't get a six here, that's a dead knight. A knight on one wound. Oh, the Neurogon. <laughs> well, well, they still get lethal hits, so this is doable. Yeah. The knight could actually die to some Neurogons. Neurogons, these lads are really trying to climb into the cockpit and tear off the uh, pilot's head. So let's see if we can do it. 11 attacks, hitting on. Oh. for sixes here, yeah? Yeah, just, just sixes, hit on fours. So we've got one. One goes for it. <laughs> so a six of a hit, and they wounded on sixes. Are we ready? Yep. Come on. One so more. So two go through. So you're telling me if I fail one of these three up saves. You're and... you're it's been killed by an Eragon. Yeah. Essentially. Three ups. <laughs> oh, he saved it. He saved he it. He saved it. <laughs> oh. He attacks back with his armager. Uh, kills that uh, Hormagon. And then it'll be attacks back from Big Fella. So I'm just going to put as many as I can into the Gene Stealers. You sure so... don't want to put it with the Eragons? I think I'm all right. Oh, Gene Stealers got an input. Um... Possibly. I know they used to. Um, they While you're checking that, I'm going to roll this. Yeah, they used to have a wicked inbook. All it on fours. Yeah, five off. Yeah, re-roll them one. So there. And that's in combat as well, yeah? Yeah. And then wounding on twos. Re-roll them one. So you've got five five up saves. Okay. Uh, four die. What's the damage? Uh, damage two. Yeah. Or oh, end of Tyranids, turn, uh, was it even turn two? I can't believe it's only mm. turn two. Uh, original, five points. Containment, six points. So a really good turn. Gets 11 points for it. Um, but uh, you the fact that you didn't destroy the knight, 
Mm. Left left on one yeah, left it on one wound. Yeah, left it on one wound. So yeah, on to um, Knight's turn three. So before I draw my cards in turn three, Shadow in the Warp is being cast. Shadow goes over the battlefield. Everything needs to take a battle shock test with minus one to it. And the ones in synapse range have minus two to it. So I'm guessing it's going to be these three in synapse range. Yep. And then them two not in synapse range. That's right. So I'll start with the uh, Valiant. Uh, this is usually a six, but it's a seven now because a minus one. Uh, he fails. He's battle shocked. Um, the guy I really want to pass because he's... Um, He's on an objective. His is an eight now. This is seven usually. He's battle shocked. The uh, this uh, Gal uh, preceptor. His is a seven now. Uh, oh, sorry, his is an eight now because it's minus two. So he's, so battle, he's battle shocked. shocked. Uh, this uh, armature over here. His is a, a seven, eight, nine now. Uh, four. Oh, that's a bit cocked. Uh, so he does pass. It's all right. And then this guy's a eight. So, he's so he's all right. So the uh, Preceptor, the Valiant, and that Armager are all battle shocked. I don't get any primary, and um, this Armager and the Gallant are okay. So going into Knights you turn get three. For that one. Yeah, Jack made a good point that I actually get three uh, CP for holding that objective with the Gallant at the beginning of my turn for primary. So I've got three there, and um, the cards are draw behind enemy lines. Um, so. Um, I'd be getting that with a Gallant and engaging all fronts, which I won't be getting. I did swap that out because I, I had Defend Stronghold. I don't have my Stronghold, so I swapped it out. I'll engage all fronts, so even worse. So Beyond Enemy Lines, I'm aiming for that. The Gallant, um, I've moved over here. He technically doesn't have Beyond Enemy Lines at the minute, but on the charge, he'll just get in. Um, the Preceptor, he's just going to stay in combat because he's failed Battleshock. If he falls back, he could die. He's staying in combat, he's probably going to die, but at least I'll be able to shoot first. Um, the Armager, he's moved forward, he's going to try and kill some brain bugs. Um, the Valiant is just towed in on two terrain pieces so you can see out both sides. He's probably going to shoot big guns into brain bugs, all his little guns into some fly bugs. And then that Armager has just stayed put over there just so I can stand on that objective. So even though he's battle shocked, but hopefully next turn he won't be. So uh, lots of shooting to come. Let's get back in the shooting phase. So the Gallant is going to shoot into the Tran FX. His rockets hitting on threes. Uh, all hit. Wounding on fives and sixes. No. Um, I will save my rerolls for the Melter. So Melter going in hot. Hitting on threes. Misses. But I can reroll. He hits. And then wounding on five sixes again. No. Reroll. No. So that's him. Shot. One down. Four to go. Receptor. Same target. Into the Tran FX. So we'll start for the rocket pods, hitting on threes. Uh, re rolling because it's his re roll target. No. And then wounding on five and sixes. Uh, no, nothing. I'll go to the Melter, uh, hitting on threes. Uh, wounding on five and sixes. I'll do that as my re roll. No. So uh, just the it's high the intensity Laz Impulse are left, yeah. Oh, hitting on fours as well. So I'm lucky I haven't wounded him so far. Impulsor, D6 shots into the Tran FX. Four shots, hitting on fours. Uh, re roll because it's a re roll target. Uh, so three hits, and then wounding on threes, strength 14. Uh, re roll one of them. So you've got two saves at minus three, so two five ups. Let's see. Uh... So one save, so it's just four damage. It's four so damage. Down, so so six is actually, as you can roll, your six will feel no yeah, pain. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll do that quickly now. How many yeah. was it? F4. Any would be nice. Yeah, so he takes three. Decent. Armager into the zone for ops just in front of him. So starting off with a melter. Hitting on, uh, yeah, that. And then wounding on threes. Wounds. So uh, your four up in front. Okay. Right. I think that's one of your dice. So four up in front. Gets nice. It. I'll do the thermal spear. Two shots, hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. Uh, two more saves, four bin fun. Uh, both go through. One. D6 damage each, first one. Does two. Do you want to do two? Um, feel no, oh, do you get feel no pains? You don't actually do. No, so one on one wound, and that's the last one. I'll just kill one. Thermal spear from this amateur into the. Zone for ups as well. Zone for ups as well. So. Uh, Hitting on threes, both hits, 
Wounding on th twos. Two wounds, two forpin ones. So look, come on, get one. Just one, D6. Bag another one. Lots of guns going on here. We've got the big flamer and the siege breaker cannon into these. I also have to put the melter into them because it's only 12 inch. I'm putting the harpoon and trying to take it out on them brain bugs. Straight through the brain. Yeah, I'm putting the two uh, siege breaker missile launchers, or whatever they're called, the, the, the two strong ones, over here into the exocrine. Exocrine, you will be, you're right. So I'll start off with all the stuff into the uh, gargoyles. All the little gun shot, and I only killed four of the gargoyles, and then I'm shooting a. The twin siege breaker cannon into uh, this guy. Exocrine. Exocrine. So two shots hit on threes. They both hit. Wounded on fours. Strength 12. Toughness 12, right? Uh, Reroll the wound. So that's two saves. Um, at minus four. Let me double check. So yeah, this guy's actually toughness 10. I'm only wounded on threes. Uh, they're both wounds. There were two sixes. They're both devastating wounds. So it's 2d6 plus two. I do 10, 11, 12 damage to him. Uh, do you have any type of fill-no pains or not? Um, let me just check if he's in range of the psycho phase. I'm shooting a harpoon into a big brain. So hit on twos. Hits. Uh, wounded on twos, but if I get four, it's anti-monster and these are monsters. So that is 12 mortal wounds on that one big brain there. The yeah. That guy. Yeah. Splat. So charging. Um, this guy's going in there. He wants to try and get in basically in the air. So you can be behind any lines. Uh, and this guy is just shuffling oh, into him as well. That guy? Want to charge anyway? Nah, I'm just going to leave it as that. So, everything's yeah. charged into the combat phase. So the big Gallant raises his gauntlet again. He's going to crush one of these bugs' heads. So, into the uh, Tyrannifex. Six attacks. Hitting on twos. Rerolling one of the ones. Um, so, I missed two of them. And then, wounding on threes. Strength 20, toughness 12. Uh, I can reroll on the wounds. Nope, so three saves, these are at minus three. So the five ups, aren't they? Yeah, three five ups. Any one of these would be oh, great. So eight damage, so he gets eight field offense. I'm not gonna kill him. Nice. Could have, uh, that's good. Yeah. So you save three of them, so he only takes five, so he's on Stop. four wounds remaining. Oh. The worst thing about that is. You can't shuffle in, can you? No, can you? he's basically, um, his base is that much out of behind enemy lines. I was expecting to kill him and I was and just going like to consolidate himself. into this one. So I don't get that either. Great. Uh, your attack's next. Over here. How many gene steals have we got? Oh, sorry, I get another charge and attack. I'll yeah. go with that armager next. So next bit of combat, the armager is hitting Jack's Warlord. Um, what's this got, guy called? Uh, the Neuro Tyrant. Neuro Tyrant. So four attacks, hitting on freeze, wounded on freeze, and he's got a four pinned one. So hitting on threes, I can reroll one of them. I don't get any sixes for the sustained. And then wounded on threes, could survive here, Jack. Reroll one wound roll. So three saves a four. Three four in ones. Two go through, that's six damage. How many wounds he got? Nine. Uh, so yeah, so he's still alive on three wounds. Nasty. Three wounds. So Jack is still attacked back with all these. Oh, we've done all these combats. Um, nothing happened over here, and nothing happened over here. So. To the Broodlord, to see if he can take down a knight. Just imagine that on his resume. Hitting on twos. Yep, so they all hit. All hit. And then wounded on sixes. We got sixes, we'll look for devastating. So then re roll our links with twin linked. Yep. So all you need is one six here, really. That'll do, that'll do. It doesn't. <laughs> so it's, it looks like it's down to the that gene stealers. How many have got five? Well, now the gene stealers, lots of attacks going in. Uh, hit on twos, re rolling one, six is lethal. We'll get back to you. Okay. So he's looking for sixes here for the devastating wounds. You're yeah, re-rolling you ones here, aren't you? Rerolling So it's three go through. Let's just see if I can get one. Four go one. through. So let's see if I can get uh, four sixes. No. That is Does a dead knight gallant. That's the important thing. If he explodes, he no. doesn't. He just, he's, he's he just crumbles oh. and the gene stealers tear through his character. Yeah. End of knight's turn three. A pretty bad turn for me, to be fair. Um, behind enemy lines. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of Agent Gage all fronts. So it puts me up to two on Jack's turn. Um, I didn't really kill what I wanted to. Um, I killed some Zone Frogs, which is good. Um, but ideally, I wanted to kill the Tyrannifex. So uh, 
yeah, on to Jack's um, turn three. The Nids are still in it. Well, start of Jack's turn three, and he got big nine points for primary. Um, he drew cleanse, which basically you cleanse, do an action on an objective, but it's not your deployment zone. Uh, you do one, you get two VP. You get do two, you get four VP. Jack's done two, so he's got four for that. Storm style objective. I don't actually hold any objectives at the minute, so um, Jack basically just needs to get one that he didn't control um, at the beginning of his turn, um, which he's done four for that. So be getting a big eight points here, which means he's going to be smashing it on the points. Movement is just move the Psychophage around here out the way a bit. Um, the um, Terren effect is staying in combat. The Exocrane has just shuffled this way to get a line of sight on the Armager. Um, all these um, Gene Steel have moved forward because they want to fight with the Armager. Um, these Neurogaunts have went and cleansed that objective. These Neurogaunts are in the middle of cleansed this objective. Um, this, uh, what's he called again? Neurotyrant. Neurotyrant has came and grabbed this objective, what he didn't control at the beginning of his turn for four points. Um, and then all these gargoyles have flew around here to get some shots and stuff. And these ones have just swarmed my objective to try and make it hard for me to get. So on to the shooting phase. For the shooting is the Tyrann effects. Going to be shooting point blank range into combat. Um, I'm going to rotate Iron Shields for one CP. Um, because I do not want him to die. So go for it. So he's hitting on threes. Both hit. Uh, wounded on threes. Uh, yep. Two wounds would be nice. Oh, nice. Nasty. So I'm looking for two fours here. Uh, one goes through. Um, D6 plus six, so it won't kill him. So uh, yeah, go for it. D6, come on, give me something nice and high. Oh, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So three, four, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Looking for sixes here. Uh, I get two, so seven go through. Stinger salvos, going in shots. shots. Hitting on fours. So a few sixes go straight Ooh, through nice. there. And then wounding on sixes. Another one. Yep. So that's four. Any no minus? minus on that. Uh, so just three ups. Uh, one goes through. Need a six up. You nice. Know. <laughs> so nothing happens. Three. So the exocrine is going in hot into the armature down the way. So D6 let's do it. Three shots. That's five. And then hitting on no, 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 no. threes. Threes now because he's moved, not he? Yep. Uh, so three hits. That one's. And that goes through, yep. And then wounding on uh, five and sixes. Just no, one. No, just a one. Minus. Three. Uh, so it's, uh, it's just his five filling up in. Uh, five in one, sorry. He's all right. He's all right. So. Uh, all the shooting's been done. Um, these gargoyles shot into the Valiant, nothing happened. A couple shot into the um, Armager over there, nothing happened. Um, so, it's just some charging. So where do you charge in, uh, Jack? Should, should I have moved them? Because I can shoot them. Completely up to you, but you can't charge after you've moved. No. But you can move if you want, but do that after. Where do you want to charge? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, just these guys at them. So yeah. see if we get it. Yep. Four. Four. I think it was a I've five. i CP. One gonna, CP. Use it. Yes. Nice. And they're in. So they're in. Uh, any more charging or is that it? I think that's it. Cool. Um, just going to shuffle some of these guys. Yeah, but, yeah. And I'll move these. I just want to come Start with the Broodlord. Hitting into the Armager. Let's go. Five attacks. Hitting on two. Sixes are lethal. So no lethals, but they all hit. That's nice. Uh, Wounding on six. Sixes. Tough as ten. So uh, five and sixes. Twin linked. And twin linked. So six is a devastating. Yep. Yeah, so that goes through as well. And then re-roll them because they're twin linked. Nice. <laughs> so three devastating. So that's six mortal wounds, and then I've got one save. Yep. So the six mortal wounds will go through. Uh, I don't ignore any of them, and the three up save. He's all right. So he takes six wounds. He's down to six remaining. You oh. sealers try to take them last six wounds off the armager. Let's go. Look for sixes. Get back to you. Yeah, so after the re-rolls, uh, we've got six that have gone through. All the rest have hit. So wounding on uh, sixes. Looking for six. We're looking for sixes anyway because they're mortal wounds. So one, two, three, four mortal wounds go through. Um, he's a one damage pop, yeah? yeah. They're not mortals, I don't think. Yeah, devastating, aren't they? It's devastating. Oh, yeah, they are, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So four dice. Um, yep. Looking for sixes here. Um, no, so he takes four wounds, he's got two left, and I've got six saves. These are minus two, yeah? Yep. So five ups. Uh, so I've got two wounds left, so I need three sixes here. That is a dead armager. See if he blows up. He does not. 
So knights are dropping like flies here. So the Gallant is going to try and take off the uh, Tyrannifex's head. Six attacks, getting on twos. Reroll them one. And then wounding on threes. Uh, all wounds. So you've got that six saves at minus uh, three. I believe. Oh, yeah, he's well and truly dead. So the Tranifrex is well and truly dead. Uh, and that is the end of uh, Jack's turn. So we'll just end of Jack's turn. Uh, cleanse the Stormer style objective. Um, he did really well and got um, four points for Stormer style objective. Four points for cleanse. So eight points. Um, running away with them points. But I have opted to pick a secret mission. So let's go over here and check it out. So the secret mission I've went for is that. So pause your screens, have a little read. Um, that's what I'm going to go for and hope to get that big 20 VP because I'm behind on points and I need to catch up. In my turn, I've drew Bring It Down, Storm of Style Objective. So Bring It Down is kill monsters, vehicles, basically monsters. Um, so I could get a couple of points there, I could get four points, maybe kill two monsters. Storm of Style Objective, tech one off Jack. Do you still get secondaries if you pick the... Yeah, so you're, basically your, your primary max is at 20 now. Right. Um... So what I've done is the Knight Galant is moving into here to Storm style Objective and take that. Um, the Knight Valiant is moving into this uh, ruin to um, just shoot whatever you can see um, and take this objective. And I get three points at the beginning of my turn for um, that armager. And he's going to stay there and hold that objective. So I'm going to do as much shooting stuff as I can, kill as much as I can, um, and see what we where we're at after the shoot. We start off with a Galant. Um, he's going to shoot his Storm Spear rocket pod and his melter gun into these pesky um, gene stealers. So rocket pod, hitting on threes. I'll just re-roll that. Uh, wounding on twos. Uh, three saves on your five up in one, sir. Uh, that is uh, D6. That's just one dead. Uh, the melter, hitting on threes. Uh, re-roll on the hit. No. And that's some shot. So we're going over to the um, armature. And he's going to shoot his thermal spear, uh, he not your engine's melter, so just a thermal spear into these uh, gene sealers as well. So <coughs> hitting on threes. Uh, both hit, wounded on twos. You've got two, five up in runs. That'd be nice. Yeah, exactly what you wanted. Oh. And that does two damage, so it just kills one. That's, that's just as well. Valiant, um, last bit of shooting, but there's a lot of shooting here. So I'm putting the big flamer um, and the melter into these gene sealers. I'm putting his uh, shield breaker anti chaff gun into them. I'm putting his harpoon into this monster here. And I'm putting his two big shield breaker strong missile things into big brain bug over there. So uh, I'll get back to you with your shooting. I'll tell you what, let's start with the harpoon, the funnest one. Put it into, we're putting it into the um, exocrine here. So hit on twos. He hits, uh, looking for a four for anti monster. Not, nope, I can reroll one of them. So he does. That's just flat 12 mortal wounds. 12. That's killing the exocrine, making that. him an exo crying. Flamer, conflagration cannon into the gene stealers. 3d6 shots. Let's go. So five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's going to be wounding on twos. Uh, and I've rerolled a wound, so. That is uh, five, six, seven um, saves at minus one. So I'm guessing it's on your five up in one. Yep. Unless they've got three up saves, Gene Sealers. Tell you what, uh, I don't think they did, but I'll just check. Double check just to be safe. Well, the Gene Sealers are dead, and there's the Brood Lord on two wounds remaining. So we've got a Melter going into the Brood Lord. Uh, he misses. Uh, I've got to re can reroll one of my hits. He hits, and then wounding on twos, I imagine. Oh, strength. Uh, nine, so what's your toughness? Threes. So it'll be three, so he doesn't wound. Nasty. Melters, of course, twin linked. He doesn't do out. <laughs> well, the little missiles shot into these. I killed six of them. Um, so last but not least, the two big shield breakers into his warlord. Um, so two shots hit on threes. Uh, both hit, and then wound on twos. Both wounds, so you've got two four pin runs. One goes through, so it's d6 plus one. And that kills your warlord. He is dead. That means my army is now honoured. Nice. So in my next um, command phase, which will be my last one, 
Everything has a five up info and I get three CP for it. Ah. Oh, just some charging, uh, the Galant is gonna go into the Broodlord. Uh, it's a five inch charge. I can still hold that objective as well, to his big base. So he gets in, uh, get back here in the fight phase. So the only bit of combat is the Galant hitting the Broodlord. Hitting on twos. Uh, I can reroll one of them. So they all hit, even though it looks very low. Um, wound on twos. Reroll one of the wounds. Oh, it's gone. Let's reroll that one. So you've got five saves on your end run. Any fail, it's a dead brood lord. That is yeah, they, uh, yeah, 16 damage, sir. Dead. Yeah, pretty good turn four. I got um, four points. For, sorry, uh, yeah, four points for killing a monster because I killed two monsters. Oh, is the brood lord a monster? Yeah. So I killed, I got six points for killing monsters because I killed the brood lord, I killed the exocrane and his warlord, um, all three monsters. So six points there, four points for Storm style objective. Um, so good turn. On to Tyranids, turn four. Hive Mind is screaming for the Tyranids to kill, kill, kill. But Jack just doesn't have the assets, but he's definitely got models on the board to get points still. So um, he got, how many did you get for primary there? You got, um, you use a CP to automatically pass them. Um, so you got three, four, five, six for your Gargoyle. So you got six for primary. Um, now he's drew Assassination and Mark for Death. He originally drew no prisoners and uh, swapped that out for a CP. And <laughs> uh, yeah, and got Assassination. So basically kill stuff. Assassination, kill a character. Mark for Death, kill one of my three units left. And um, he gets five points for killing one of them. Um, no prisoners would kill a unit for two VP each. So basically, the one him to kill, it's probably not going to happen, but. Um, he's going to get points through primary instead. So basically what Jack's done is, um, is just move these a little bit more into this objective, just advance them. Um, all these gargoyles have advanced and jumped onto uh, this objective, took it off me. Them gargoyles have advanced, took that one off me, um, leaving me just on one objective over there. Um, so into, oh, and also this guy has uh, dropped in in Lanzi. He dropped in last turn, but he just moved on to this one. So uh, on to Jack's shooting. shooting. So yeah, Jack um, shot um, everything. He actually chipped a wound off him, so he's down to 24. Um, they didn't take a wound off the um, armager, and he didn't get a wound took off him by the... Um, what's he called again? Uh, Psycho Fear. Like I'll just quickly see if I get a feel no pain. I forgot about that. No. The Psycho Killer. Take a, you can take a wound. So... Yeah, well, uh, he didn't do any charges either, so a nice quick turn. We'll quickly uh, see if he got any points for that. Yeah, and the Jack's turn four. He's just getting rid of all of these. It's not going to happen. Um, putting him on three CP, uh, three uh, CP. Yeah, get rid of them. Uh, on to Knight's turn five, last turn. Yeah. So Knight's turn five, the last push to stop this Tyranid invasion. Defense stronghold. Um, I'm not going to get that. I don't think. Uh, Mark for death. Um, I should kill one of three units that Jack picks. So Jack, you've picked gargoyles, gargoyles, and whatever that guy's called. Yeah, uh, prime. Yeah. So um, movement. I've took the gallant off that objective. I got my three points for it, and he's moved off because he's going to try and charge for these. The uh, valiant has moved off that objective and jumped on this one to take it. Uh, also, this armager is just stayed put. So the uh, <coughs> plan is. I'm just going to clear a load of chaff. Um, so into the shooting phase. Well, so far, I've shot the Knight Gallant in the Armager into these and killed... How many did I kill? Uh, four Gargoyles. Killed four Gargoyles. Um, so then we're going over to the Knight Valiant, last bit of shooting. The Knight uh, Valiant is just going to put everything into these. I'm going to try and clear them up. So big Flamer. Um, 3d6. Yeah, 3d6. 6, 7, 8, 9. So 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine. And we're wounding these on twos. Uh, I can re-roll one of them. So you've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're at minus one, the ignore cover. So what's your save? Six ups, I'm guessing? Five ups, I think that'd be six ups. I'll check, so it'll make a difference. Yeah, so, so far it'd be three, four, six, seven dead. Save is six ups. The save six ups? Yeah. So that is... Um, one, two, the size all nine dead, so there's just one more. One alive. Yeah, I mean, the rest of his guns are going into him, so should we just say ten are dead? Yeah, we'll get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, ten gargoyles. All in combat. The Valiant's gone into these Neurogaunts. The uh, Gallant has gone into these Neurogaunts. 
and that armature is going into them gargoyles. So get back in the combat. Start for the armature into the gargoyles. So eight attacks uh, with a sweep, hitting on threes. Um, we roll one, and then we're wounding on twos, and he doesn't get a save. So we roll one of them. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six gargoyles, which is exactly That's what I needed, off. Jack. That's what you need. Um, I'll do these two knights into the Eurobots off camera. Well, end of knight's turn five, defense stronghold for, uh, sorry, the don't get defense stronghold. Now what happens there? Uh, mark for death, I get for five Wait, VP. Fight? It's a charge, yeah, right? he did his fight, he just killed one. Um, right. So five VP for mark for death. Um, like I said, there's one Eurogaunt died here and all the Eurogaunts died to the Gallant. So that is all that the knights can do. So it's just up to Jack, see, see what he can do in his turn five. Turn five and the last push for the nids. Overwhelming force is kill units off objectives he can't get. Establish locus and do an action in my deployment zone. He gets a four points, which he can do. So he's just left um, the psychophage here because there's no point in doing anything with it. Um, he can't score primary now um, at the end of his turn. It's at the beginning. Uh, he did score the um, three for this one. Um, and also he's doing the action with this in my deployment zone. Um, so I might be wrong here, uh, point-wise. It'll all be on screen, the proper one. But we've got it <laughs> as 54 to Jack, 53 to the Knights. It's close. Very close. So basically, it's all down to the secret mission. Um, you know what it is, I don't. They know what it is. So basically, Jack, um, the end of the battle, if I control three or more objective markers that are not within my deployment zone, oh, so I get 20 three. VP. Nice. So... The Imperium had this secret plan all along, uh, and they've pulled it off right at the last minute. So I've just managed to nick that game with a secret mission. Nice. But we'll talk to you on the end of the game roundup. What a game, man! It was a uh, yeah, was a battle, wasn't it? really good game, man. Um, yes, yeah, that was uh, that was class for me. Like it's. I hope I got all the stuff right with the night. I kept having to go back and check all the data sheets, things like that. But it's just um, I just don't play nights enough, um, and I don't have a big enough whiteboard for all the mm. rules at the minute. It's pretty much packed to the board. It's, 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 a, it's a codex yeah. on the board. Yeah. So it's um, so I've got all like the abilities stuff like that. But I don't have all the gun profiles on, but uh, it's really cool to see the secret mission win a game like that. That went that went really well. Originally, I'd lost, um, and then but then the. Secret mission sort of the Imperium managed Took to you're up to it would have been max twenty, so it would have been um fifty one seventy three or fifty four. Sixty one it would have been. Would so it? I would have maxed out at twenty on primary. Oh right, okay. So sixty yeah. it would have been sixty one um to um fifty four, which I'll Oh that's I'll pretty, put, yeah, pretty still close. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll put all that on screen and it should be somewhere around that. Um right. but yeah, what a game there. How do you think the lid's done? Uh pretty good. Pretty good. The the night shooting absolutely terrifies me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I think that there was that turn you got a lot of vital charges off, and I was like, right. That turn two, it was massive. Yeah. There's yeah. often I think that I think when it comes out to a game like that, there's often a deciding factor, and I think that for me was the game. I was like, right, okay, I am. Uh, I'm gonna I'm on the bit of the back foot here. I'm gonna have to try yeah. and figure out where to go. You know. Yeah. That that turn two was massive. Um, I think you still. Because I had a really good turn two, um, but then my turn three sort of was a bit lackluster. So I feel like I thought the same as you. I thought this is kind of a whitewash going to be. And then my turn three came and it sort of went back around and you dropped all the reserves in and mm. started racking up points. So it's even though I was taking out the big things, it wasn't the point scorers I was killing. No, no, um, which was which is kind of like a lot of the plan, you know. It's like I said to you earlier, I'm like I was going to bring a lot more guns, but there's only so long you can have to... To, to film a video and, yeah, and like move yeah. loads and loads of units about. But that's even it, like, so, that's not to say that you can't win by scoring. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's it. Diff different ways to play the game, isn't there now, which is that's quite it. interesting. That's it. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it at home. Um, I know we'll have got a few rules wrong there. Um, so try and be nice. I didn't get any wrong. I got them <laughs> all right. Um, as you can see, I've got a clear background because uh, Jack's been wrecking the wall. There was a ghost. So, or a ghost, um, Jack says. Yeah. So, um, you can't be cheating. Next time, hopefully, I'll have something back up here so I've got a nice uh, something to look at in the background. <laughs> Picture of my face like this. <laughs>
But, uh, but yeah, so again, thanks to the members as always. Um, big shout out to Urban Mats because this mat is theirs um, and it goes with so many different terrain. Um, so I'll leave a link to their description, Urban Mats, down below. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.